They seem to be popping up everywhere. Self-storage units that let you store furniture and other goods while you move or downsize. Some people rent them for months, others for years. But as one family found out, be careful storing items you would never want to lose. Pat Foran has this consumer alert. Pat. Thanks, Michelle. And Nathan, a Toronto family was doing some renovations and decided to use a storage company to store their belongings, family photos, and personal items. After almost three years when they went to get their goods, they found half of them were missing. The self-storage industry has seen rapid growth as people reorganize, renovate or downsize from larger homes to condominiums. Peter Maythani's family of Toronto did a reno in 2019 and used a valet storage service. They come to your house, they pick up all your items, they put barcodes on them, they take them out to their warehouse and the day you want them back you call them and you deliver it back. Nathani used a storage company called Second Closet, but after four years of operation, it announced it was discontinuing its storage service. He requested his items be returned and was shocked to receive only half of them back. While the family kept some old pictures, most were in storage. I have family mementos, childhood pictures that are before digital, and it's a real pain point for my entire family. Second Closet has rebranded as GoBolt. A spokesperson told CTV News, GoBolt is a third-party logistics provider that does not and has never offered consumer storage services. The company said at the time it shifted its business model, Second Closet's customers were given notice to transfer to other storage providers. The spokesperson also said, Second Closet as a goodwill gesture paid Mr. Mathani $4,000 and also offered $1,225 in July 2023 for the missing items. But Mathani says he isn't interested in the money. He and his wife just want their precious family items returned. I will literally, I would do anything or pay anything to get these items back. Gobald said Mathani did not take out insurance, but even if he did, photos have limited sentimental value. After a year of looking, the company wants to close the case, something Mathani is not ready to do. We can't find them. Please sign this release. Well, obviously, I'm never going to sign that release because money is not the issue. And the majority of people who use self-storage store furniture, appliances, and larger items. If you have family photos or personal goods you couldn't bear to lose, you may want to consider other options as well. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.